Okay, today for our daily cancellation, I have to issue a cancellation begrudgingly, not because I want to, with no personal animosity behind it. Um, in fact, in performing this cancellation ritual, I am following the rules and customs of our modern society. I am enforcing the rules, their rules, not my own. These are not my rules. The subject today is a young woman by the name of Morgan Bullock, and she was profiled by the BBC recently. Uh, that profile has gotten some attention online. Let me, uh, it's about a five minute video. I won't play the whole thing, but let me play just a clip of that for you. Watch this. People saying that I shouldn't be Irish dancing because I'm black and I don't look like most Irish dancers. But I saw it for the first time at a recital and it was just the coolest thing ever to me. When you went into those Irish dancing classes, were you the only African-American girl in the class? Yeah, I was always the only one in my class. Did that ever have any effect on you or how did that make you feel? I mean, obviously it's hard to miss uh, uh, someone who's <laughs> actually, their face matches their legs at the competitions because, you know, the, there's like the tanner, you like. There's a lot of tanner. <laughs> yeah, a lot there, of yeah. tanner, but it's, it's hard to miss someone who's African-American. I don't think I ever considered it an issue. It was definitely something that I took note of, but I had grown up in a predominantly white area, so it wasn't something that I was uncomfortable about. After going viral with her Irish dancing, the reaction was overwhelmingly positive. But there were a few who thought that what she was doing was inappropriate. The negative comments that people were leaving under the video, what were people saying? Just early on, like shortly after posting it, some people were saying that what I was doing was cultural appropriation, just because I don't look like what you would typically picture an Irish dancer to look like. But I mean, so were they saying because you weren't Irish and because you were not white that you shouldn't be performing Irish dancing? Yeah, basically that's what they were saying. You were misappropriating the Irish dancing culture. I mean, my understanding of the term is that it means when you're taking something from another culture, claiming it as your own without recognizing where it comes from, and that couldn't be further from what I'm doing. Like, it's important for people to recognize that there's a difference between appropriation and appreciation. Um, I think people use the term appropriation without, without knowing what it really means. Okay, so she's, a, she's an Irish dancer, black woman uh, from, what do they say, Virginia. Now, first of all, they didn't show an example of the supposed negative comments that this woman has received, but it's obvious that the negative comments were way, way, way outnumbered by the positive, which is good. And let, let me be clear about this. I, I agree with everything she said. Um, I agree that she's not guilty of appropriation. I agree that this is appreciation. I agree that if you see a type of dance, you know, for example, and, and you like it and you admire it and you want to do it, that is by definition appreciation and should be embraced. I also agree that if cultural appropriation means anything at all, it must mean taking something from another culture and pretending that you came up with it or that your culture came up with it. So if she did an Irish dance and like claim that she invented the style or something, or that it's a style she inherited from her ancestors or, 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 or whatever, then, then yeah, that would be, I suppose, appropriation. But of course she didn't do that. And almost nobody would do that because that would just be bizarre. You know, she, she, she likes Irish dance. That's why she got involved in it. And she's not trying to, she has no interest in, in trying to, degrade Irish dance or, or, or hide from the history of it. She, she likes it. That's the whole point here. She admires it. Uh, you wouldn't give so much of your life and so many hours of, of, of your day to practicing it if you didn't admire it. Um, however, everything she's saying and the definitions she's giving, even though she's right and she's being reasonable, none of that is actually what the left says about cultural appropriation. According to the left, it doesn't matter if you appreciate the culture. It doesn't matter if you think that uh, it's cool or, or, or beautiful or, or whatever else. To do a dance or to take a style or anything else from another culture, if you are not of that culture, is appropriation. Those are the left's rules. And since they're the left's rules, those are the rules of society. In fact, here's an example. This is also from the BBC, just to, uh, just to frame this here. This is an example also from the BBC a couple of years ago. Another thing of another cultural appropriation controversy. 
But you'll notice that though the BBC defended Miss Bullock, they take a very different tone here. If you look at this um, headline, prom dress prompts cultural appropriation row. And then it goes on. Uh, I'm not going to read the entire article, but maybe you remember this case. A, a white, white girl, high school student uh, in Utah decided to wear a traditional Chinese dress to her prom. And she posted pictures because she was proud of it and she thought it was cool and you know she liked the style and everything. And it, it went viral in a negative way. I mean, overwhelmingly negative response. Um, one of the one widely shared response from a Twitter user, Jeremy Lamb, said, My culture is not your effing prom dress. And a lot of criticisms like that. And finally, the uh, the girl was forced to take down the pictures. She tried to say that she didn't mean it to be negative. She was appreciating Chinese culture, but she had to take it down and she apologized. Now, if wearing a Chinese dress to prom is appropriation from the Chinese, then doing an Irish dance and performing in river dance is appropriation from the Irish. There's no way around it. Now, I know the way around it, the attempted way around it is, um, is, is, in fact, they, they, uh, in one of the articles, I think in the in the BBC article, they say that appropriation is oftentimes when a dominant culture takes from a minority culture. But first of all, that's just ad hoc silliness. Okay, you're you're inventing definitions as you go along, adjusting the terms uh, as you go along according to what it will be politically useful to you. So that that's not a legitimate way of going going about this anyway. But secondly, Irish culture is not dominant or in the majority anywhere, um, except for maybe in Ireland, even though even there, I did, you know, it's, it's debatable at this point. I, and I would submit that black culture in America is quite a bit more dominant and has quite a bit more power in America than Irish culture. I don't think there's any denying that. So no matter how, no matter how you slice it or try to define it, this is appropriation. And cancellations must be handed out, I'm afraid. I don't want to do it, but those are the rules. Unless, of course, we want to all admit that the whole idea of cultural appropriation is nonsense. A culture actually cannot be appropriated. Like, even if I were to become a Hindu and and give myself a Hindi name and wear the traditional attire that Hindus wear, and I were to celebrate Diwali and other Hindu... Uh, holidays, all the rest of it, I wouldn't be appropriating anything from the people of India because I'm not depriving them of their culture by partaking in it myself. This is not a zero-sum game with cultures. A culture doesn't lose something just because someone outside of it is is influenced by it or imitates it. I mean, they used to say imitation is this, is the you know the highest form of flattery. That's all. It's imit. It's not appropriation. It is at worst imitation. Okay, what I would really say it is you're partaking in it. It's it's per, I would say it's it's more participation than even imitation. But fine, if you want to call it imitation, that's fine too. And and not only do cultures not lose anything by having other people imitate it, they actually gain. Cultures gain influence. They gain power. They gain recognition by being you know quote unquote appropriated in this way. And this is really obvious with the Irish dance thing. Okay. I, you know, Irish dance, traditional Irish dance. Um, now it's being performed by, uh, you know, a black woman in America, and it's getting getting media attention because of that. Anyone who's a fan of Irish dance, whether you're Irish or not, you're not going to see that as a negative. That's great. Just more attention, more people getting involved in it. You have a young, you have younger generations, div- d- more diverse generations of people getting involved. Fantastic, great stuff. Why would anyone have a problem with that? Well, it should be the same thing with a with a Chinese prom dress. Uh, it's just it's spreading the influence of that culture. More people are getting exposed to it. More people are saying, "Oh, this is a beautiful dress." What what's, what could possibly be the problem with that? To have someone seeing a dress, a, 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 a traditional Chinese cultural dress, is like that's beautiful. I want more people to see this beautiful dress. There's there's no way for a sane person to interpret that in in a negative way. But of course, there are a lot of insane people in this culture. So it's one way or the other. You know, if we don't want to cancel um, this young woman for 
for, for doing Irish dance, which I certainly don't want to, then the only other option is to say we're going to cancel cultural appropriation. The whole concept is canceled. We're getting rid of it because it's nonsense. And uh, if you like a, a part of someone else's culture and you want to imitate it, partake in it, whatever, go for it. That's, what cult, that's, that's how cultures work. Perfectly fine. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and share it with all your friends.